The ear infections, they're painful childhood illnesses, and they're more common in the winter months. Three or more infections during this season could be serious, though, and joining us now is Dr. James Bragman. Doctor, are you there? Hi, Glenda. Great to be here. All right. Thank you so much. When we talk about multiple infections, we hear about kids getting more than one, two, three. What is the risk of fluid building in the ear? It, it goes with each exceeding infection, it goes up a lot, Glenda. And a person's at higher risk for ear complications, chronic hearing loss, developmental delays as a uh, as a kid. Do they do as well in school? And I'm and the literature really suggests one of the recent articles from the Cleveland Clinic suggests be aggressive in treating them. And this has gone back and forth quite a bit in the medical literature, but more and more the trend is going back treat aggressively. Now, do they grow out of them, or could this have a lasting effect on their development? We don't have a measure yet to know which patient is going to just run a couple of them like I did as a kid. I had a lot until age seven, and then I didn't have any until my college sports physical. Other people run the risk of some hearing loss and some learning disabilities in school. So really, the rule of thumb, if you have more than three or four in a year, you really need to consult an ears, nose, and throat doctor uh, looking at the possible ear tubes that we call myringotomy tubes. And doctor, it's painful for us parents, too, because we just want to take it away. Um, you were talking about some of the options we have to relieve the pressure, those tubes. The tubes is the surgical option. Uh, your primary care doctor, your family doctor, your internist, your pediatrician, of course, is going to start with antibiotics. And I'm a firm adherent, also having an eight and ten year old, to jump on your favorite antibiotic and the one that they're not allergic to. If they are refractory to one or two, then you're going to want to probably see a nurse, nurse, and throat doctor. What's your best option? And the final resort of always is surgery, but you always typically start with eardrops and uh, pills, oral antibiotics. Okay, starting slow. How long does a procedure like that take, though? A skilled, te a skilled technician can, can do tubes within a matter of, what, 10, 15 minutes. From, from a skilled ears, nose, and throat surgeon, it's a very, very simple procedure. There's, of course, apprehension when you're a parent to watch your kid, but from an experienced technician, not a difficult procedure. And if you have proper follow-up and assuming all goes well, the lion's share of the time, things go very well. All right, Dr. Bragman, thank you for providing a little relief for us parents today. We appreciate your time. My pleasure, Glenn.